Well, hello, 1P, and welcome back. We're going to talk about exterior angles of a triangle today, and you'll notice that I have my pretty little triangle back. Isn't it gorgeous? Um, I'm going to talk about what an exterior angle is first. If you take a look at this triangle, you'll notice that it looks a little bit different than the triangle I was fiddling with yesterday, or a couple days ago, depending on how long in between the videos you're watching. Um, I have made this side extend so that I have this big straight line here. Remember what we talked about yesterday that this big straight line equals 180 degrees um, because it's half a rotation. Um, so I've got that extended so I've got the straight line there. So now I actually have, I've got three angles going on with this green thing. I've got the straight angle, that's what we call a straight line when we are speaking about it as being 180 degrees, we get a straight angle. I've got this interior angle here that's inside the triangle and then I have this out here which we call an exterior angle. So this makes up, this is the straight angle, this is an interior angle, and then this over here is the topic of our discussion today, this is the exterior angle. Okay, so it's this angle we're mostly worried about. Um, now I'm just going to clear all of that away because I'm going to do a little bit of manipulation, same way as I did on the last video. I'm going to take this and I'm going to show you what I, when I pull the triangle part. I'm going to take this angle and I'm going to stuff it right in here. Right like that. And then I'm going to take the red angle and I'm going to stuff it in here right like that. And you'll notice that the red and the blue angles there, let's grab them both at once here, they are exactly the same as the green one. So when I have the interior angle, the two interior angles of the triangle, across here when I pull those off they add up to exactly the same thing as the exterior angle of the other side. So let's have a look at that with numbers shall we? So here's the beginning of your note. Exterior angles in a triangle. I know how the exterior angle in a triangle is related to the interior angles and I can use the exterior angle theorem to solve for missing angles. So what is the exterior angle theorem. So we're going to think about what we know from interior angles and straight lines to find the exterior angle in these triangles. So the exterior angle is right here um, in this triangle. This is the one I'm worried about. And so we're going to use what we know about interior angles which uh, we can find this in here. So we can find the missing interior angle by subtracting the two we know from 180 degrees because that's the whole triangle. So let's find this thing in here. I'm going to do that. Uh, let's go but, but, but. Okay. Uh, we need to add up 74 plus 44. Don't forget your little degree symbol. 74 plus 44 is 118. 118 degrees. Um, and then we need to take 180 and subtract those two angles which we just added up, 118 degrees. And 180 minus 118 is 70, um, no it's not 70, it's 62. 62 degrees. So this angle in here, this one right in here is 62 degrees. Now this angle in here, if I take that angle and the yellow angle, it makes 180 degrees. So to figure out what the yellow angle is, I need to do 180 degrees minus 62, which is actually 118. Now why is that 118 when that other thing when this was 118? Well, because they're all, they all add up to 180. Uh, this adds up 180 and these things add up to 180. Um, so since this one's in common to them both, then these two and this one have to add up to the same thing. So let's have a look again. Whoops. 
I meant to press that. Okay. Uh, we can subtract the interior angle we found from 180. What do you notice? Well, we notice that those two things are the same. So let's try this one more time. I'm going to find this angle. Whoops, I don't want that. Ooh, and I took it all away. Um, let's do this. I can find this angle by doing 32 plus 79 equals 111 and then I can find um, 180 minus 111 means that this is 93 in here and then to find this angle in here which I know, and this one's 93 in here, I know that this angle and this angle add up to that straight line, that 180 degrees, the straight angle in there. So to find that one I do 180 degrees minus 93, which gives me 111 degrees. And we see this again, when I added up these two angles in here, I get the same number as this angle in here. So these two angles add up to this one, and this will work every time. The two interior angles will always add up to the opposite exterior angle. So two interiors add up to the opposite exterior angle. So we're going to use that little piece of information to find the missing angles. Now I know from this one here that this and this have to equal this. So I know that 20 plus that question mark has to equal 135. So in order to find that question mark, all I have to do is subtract 20 from 135. So the question mark is going to equal 135 minus 20. I know those add to that, so all I have to do is subtract 20 from 135 and I get that. So that's 115. This actually is starting to look an awful lot like algebra. Sorry to bring that word up again, but uh, here to figure out what the question mark is, I just have to subtract 20 from both sides. Okay, so it looks a little bit like the algebra that we were doing before. Okay, how about over here? I know that these two angles have to add up to this one. So once again, I've got question mark plus 110 has to add up to 145. So in order to figure out what the question mark is, I just need to subtract 110 from 145. So to figure out the question mark, I do 145 minus 110, which is 35 degrees. Okay, now I would strongly suggest that you put me on pause and you try to do these next ones by yourself and then you come on back and um, see if you got the right answer. Now have you put me on pause yet? If not, put me on pause. Okay, now I'm going to very quickly go through these. I know that these two have to add up to be this one. So this one's really easy because I don't have to, I can just do straight add those up. So the question mark equals 60 plus 40, which equals 100. Now back over here, I'm going to continue to use my little highlighter here. I know that this and this have to add up to that. So let's actually write that down. I know that 20 plus the question mark have to add up to 100, 100 degrees. Well, to find the question mark, all I have to do is subtract 20 from 100 because I know those two things have to add. So question mark equals 100 minus 20 or 80 degrees. We should have degrees on all of these things here. Okay, now the last one over here, let's get my trusty highlighter again. I know that this angle and this angle have to add up to this exterior angle. Um, so again, 40 and 40, this one's pretty straightforward. I know that the question mark has to equal 40 plus 40, which is 80. And I should have all my little degree symbols on there. Okay, how'd you do? Did you get them all right? Did you pause me to try them on your own? You should have. Okay, i got one more thing to talk to you about here. Now what about all the outside angles? So I've got this triangle here that has an 85, a 70, and a 25. Let's check and make sure I've got this right, um, that this is actually a triangle. 85 plus 70 
plus 25. Let's add them up and make sure I've got them all right here. Uh, 85 plus 70 plus 25. 180, so that's good. This is, in fact, a triangle. Now, what I want to point out here is that, and I'm going to use my highlighter again, um, this angle and this angle also have to be 180 degrees. So those two things together have to be 180 degrees. The reason? It's a straight angle. Right? When I put them together, it makes this straight line, so it's called a straight angle. Now, the same is true for this angle and this angle. They make a straight line. So that has to be 180 degrees. And one more time, let's choose our pretty blue this time. This angle and this angle have to add up to 180 degrees because it's a straight angle. Now, if I have to add up all the angles that are present here, this one and 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 this one, everything from the every pair of exterior and exterior angles, I have to add up 183 times, or I have 3 times 180. What's 3 times 180? 3 times 180 is 540. So they all add up to 540. Uh, but wait a minute. I said all the outside angles. I don't want the inside ones. I don't want this one or this one or this one. So I have to take them away from that 540. What did those things add up to? And it doesn't matter what they are. We, we added them all up to see if they're 180 degrees. In every triangle, they're going to add up to 180 degrees. In every triangle, we have these three angles that all add up to 180. So in every triangle, when I take the interior angles away from all of the angles, my exterior angles are going to add up to 360 degrees because I've got 540 minus 180. So the answer to what about all the outside angles? They add to 180 degrees. If you extend all the sides in either a clockwise or counterclockwise fashion, you've got to sort of extend them all in the same way. You can't extend this side in both directions. Okay, they all have to be extend this side, extend this side, extend this side. Okay. They all add up, oh, 180 degrees. 360 degrees is what the outside angles all add up to. Okay, so let's find the missing angle in this one. I know from the work I just did that this angle, this angle, and this angle, those are all outside angles, they have to add up to 360 degrees. So I'm going to add up the 80 plus the 140, and that gives me 220 and now to find this question mark here, uh, the question mark is going to equal 180, my, or not 180, why did I get 180 on the brain? They all add up to 360, so I have to do 360 subtract 220, and that gives me 140 degrees, and that's going to be what this angle in here is, 140 degrees. And that concludes this video.